less than a week, voters in California will decide if adults should have a legal right to use cannabis. Recreational marijuana is already legal in four states. And if the state doesn't make the legal leap now, some in California are concerned a major opportunity could be missed. I've been an investor in the technology sector since 1982. I've lived in California since 1991. What I can see is that socially, the tipping point has been passed. And many of California's biggest competitors for tourism and other important industries are moving very rapidly to legalization. So for economic reasons, the state really needs to be in the vanguard here. If you're a cannabis producer, one sort or another, whether you're a manufacturer or a grower, you've got to be branding your farm, your product, and so on, because the competition is going to be fierce. Proposition 64 includes several measures to protect existing growers and entrepreneurs. The bill bans large cultivators from getting licenses for the first five years and gives priority to existing dispensaries and farmers. It also forbids price fixing and monopolies. We want to promote the artisanal, fair trade, organic models, which requires that you enable small farmers to be vertically integrated, to bring their product to market. You don't want to force things through centralizing functions like distributors that would inherently favor volume over quality. If you want to eat a tomato grown in a factory, or the one I grew out in my heritage garden in the backyard, I don't think you're going to have trouble making that choice, right? And the same goes with cannabis. While many people in California now support legalization, Proposition 64 does allow local communities to continue to ban commercial marijuana businesses if they choose. However, they would miss out on their share of the tax revenue. I think that a community that chooses under Proposition 64 to keep a legal market out, they have to face the reality that they're allowing the illegal market to flourish. That's the choice they're making. Cannabis is challenging our, our, our regulatory system and it's, it's challenging us to think differently, which is good. I myself have a cannabis wine, which that's two regulated industries. In order to manage the industries involved in cannabis, Proposition 64 provides for 19 types of licenses. The state would begin issuing licenses in 2018, but the largest cultivation licenses will not be issued until 2023. What's fascinating about cannabis is that it supports almost every existing industry in the state. When you think about whether it's lodging, hospitality, you know, entertainment, uh, medicine, all of technology. Every, there's a role for every one of these huge indigenous California industries to play in a legal cannabis market. It is up to us, the cannabis advocates, to change hearts and minds. Because when you change, change hearts and minds, then you change votes. For more, visit the California Cannabis Project on Facebook and share this video.